what's up? It's short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I am a cannabis advocate, medical user, and solventless edible entrepreneur. Thanks for coming to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a sesh with me and introduce my five cats. We just rescued two more kittens, so I figured now would be a good time to do a little intro video. I would like to give a shout out to the OG MacDizzle420 for inspiring this video. She did a video about introducing her five dogs a couple months back and it just kind of stuck with me. So thanks Mac. Alrighty, so today we're just going to have a chill little sesh, introduce my cats. And today we're going to be enjoying some Trop Sano by Next One. This is a lovely hybrid, which is a cross of my fave. GMO and Tropicana cookies. It is a more like gassy, earthy flavor with think of like a little like cinnamon undertone. It's number one terpene limonene and it's number one minor can go into be a CBG. And it is ideal for dabbing mainly because of its high terpene profile and just the flavors it has. So we're going to be enjoying this on my Dr. Dabber Switch. I recently did a video curious about learning about this desktop vaporizer. Check out that video. First rip with vaporizers like this is always going to be more taste than anything. Man, was that tasty. And for those curious, I'm dabbing at 540. All right, third time's a charm. Let's get into it. So I guess we can start with who made an appearance first. This is Bones. He's one of my first born. So Bones was part of a bonded pair with Sully and I adopted them coming up on seven years ago. So my babysitter when I was younger uh, told me that she had a ton of cats and she found Sully and Bones in a barn. She already had six animals and felt like she didn't have enough like attention to go around for them. I was 18, moving into my first apartment, going to college, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to bring these cats with me. And yeah, they lived with me through so many Philly apartments, COVID, floods, gas leaks, they've been through it all. And I love them so much. Personality traits about bones. He's a lover, he loves to cuddle, he loves to sit at the end of our beds and watch and make sure we're protected at night when we sleep or sleep at the heads of our bed. Look at these little mittens. He's got mittens. Right, this is the next member of the family I was talking about, Sullivan. Sullivan was adopted same time with Bones, born in the same place in a barn. Fun fact, they are from the same litter, but since their mom was a bit promiscuous living outside, they had two different dads, hence their two different coat colors, but they have whites in all the same spots, so that's really cute that lines up. Some of my favorite aspects of Sully is obviously his super fluffy coat. He's the prettiest cat I've ever seen. I obviously might be biased. He's also the most affectionate out of any cat I've ever met, out of any cat I've ever owned. Sully is the cuddler of the group. He loves to snuggle up whether we're sleeping, watching a movie, sitting down having dinner. If that's a lap, he's sitting on it. All right, for the first two cats, since that's like the first grouping, since they're brothers, I adopted them together, and this is a sesh with me. Let's take another rip. So yeah, I can't believe the boys are already eight years old and I've had them for coming up on seven years in August. They've gotten me through some of the hardest times of my life. The next cat we're going to introduce is the second newest cat to our family. She is our patio cat. She can't really be domesticated, so we're just gonna keep feeding her as our porch cat. She just lays out there all day, every day in the shade. We give her water and food. She's like a little part of our family now, and her and Bones flirt through the screen door, which is adorable. So cheers to Daisy. We named her Daisy because our previous girl cat, Violet, passed away in December and we want to do like a flower name. All right, let's go meet Daisy, come on. She's still really weary of people. We can't get too close, but she does hang out while we read and eat out there. She just hangs and guards our garden. attributes I admire about Daisy is her loyalty. Since the first day we met her, she hasn't missed a day, she hasn't missed a feeding, she's always here. 
looked at your girlfriend bones? He says yes. They just sit here and talk to each other. It's quite cute. You guessed it. Time for another rip. I love this trough sandra, all right? Because you get the GMO effects, but then you get like the lighter taste with the limonene from the Tropicana cookies. Very nice. Let's bump it up to 580. I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> the two newest members of our family and the youngest, Yuki and Ursa. Originally named Jupiter and Sienna, we had to name them. Ursa is after Grizz's last music festival, Ursa Major, but Ursa by itself means little she bear. Yuki is after a F1 driver. Guess who picked that one out? Yuki also means happiness or snow. So that's very fitting for where you live. They're about nine weeks old. They are one day apart and we got them from a rescue in the mountains. And they are at the rescue because they were abandoned kittens, but we obviously couldn't let them grow up or even spend one more day in a shelter. So Steven texted me at work being like, hey, can we go get some kittens? Uh, I'm not gonna say no. I know he was really sad about not being able to domesticate Daisy, especially after having such a strong connection with Violet, our senior special needs cat. I knew it was just a matter of time before he was ready to bring home another female cat. And now it was two kids, cause obviously two's better than one. My favorite attributes. Ursa's a little more laid back, a little more shy, a little more timid. She loves to cuddle and I just think she's a sweetie. Yuki, on the other hand, my favorite traits about her, which I hope this doesn't change, is she's a crackhead. And I mean that with so much love. She's so crazy, spontaneous, just outbursts of energy. It's quite a spectacle to see. Only ever adopted or rescued cats once they're full grown, like a year, year and a half on. So to be able to experience the kitten phase is just such a sweet treat. Let's go meet the cute little kitties. Ursa, who used to be at Jupiter, is the gray one, and Yuki, who used to be Sienna, is the beige and white one. They're little bundles of joy. I definitely wanna just pause this moment, but that's why I'm taking these videos, so I can look back on this. So I hope you guys love my new kids just as much as I do. Let's go see them in their kitten room. We've transformed the bathroom into the kitten room. So let's see where they are. Hi, Yuki. Hi, Ursa. They're sleeping. Now I want to disturb them. Hi, Yuki. I really don't want to disturb Ursa. Yuki's so annoying, always finds a way to like wake her up and annoy her. They're both under three pounds. Yuki's a little bigger. She's a day older, a little closer to three. Ursa's a day younger and is closer to two pounds. Ursa's birthday is actually uh, exactly a month before Sully and Bones. Their gotcha day is a month apart too. Fun fact. Yeah, go over to the left a little more. You're almost there. Even though they're from separate litters, they were together in the animal shelter and we found them in the same basket and they already cuddle, groom each other, eat out of the same bowl. So I think it's a win. They're definitely pretty bonded already, which is great to see. That's why you get two. Say goodbye to you two. All right, bye kitties. Bye guys. What are you saying out here? They say goodbye Daisy. All right, say goodbye, Sully. He's not vocal. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you liked this. If you made it to the end of this video, comment kittens. Let me know in the comments what your favorite attribute about your cat or animal is. Obviously, to send it off, we're gonna be doing a dab. I'm gonna bump this up to 600 for a little send off. Thanks for being here, guys. And I'll see you next Thursday. Peace.